Okay, so here's the end result of what I'm about to show you. And I want you to also know if you have food coloring at home, you might have everything you need at home to uh, do this outside of school. I hope you give it a shot and I hope you enjoy it. Hey, Eagle Artist, Mr. Kingery here. Gonna show you a fun way to marble paper with shaving cream. I've got a list of supplies together. I will walk around the room and show you where those things are at. So first of all, I need to get some watercolor paper and that's right here in the third drawer by the first sink right behind my desk. And it has a special kind of paper in there. It's got little grooves in it that reacts better to watercolor paint. I'm also gonna go to the sink paintbrush area and get some pipettes to help me pull some watercolor, liquid watercolors up into them. And liquid watercolors are right here behind this hand sanitizer. I'm gonna grab these three cool colors, purple, blue, and green. If I mix cools and warm, sometimes they create browns, and I'm gonna to try to avoid browns for this project. I'm also going to need, I can use just a, a scrap of a magazine page or just a piece of aluminum foil to put the um, shaving cream on. The aluminum foil is right here above the first sink, and I'm also going to need above the second sink or middle sink, I'm also going to need some shaving cream. Good old cheap, thick Barbasol. The cheap stuff that gets really foamy, that's the stuff that works the best. So I think I'm ready to start having some fun. I'm gonna go ahead and put this camera right there. Pull my scoot over just a little bit. I'm going to, oh, I forgot one other thing. My cardboard, I'm gonna grab a scrap of cardboard. It's in the art supply room right over here. Something to scrape the shaving cream. I could use a plastic credit card or anything that's about that size and flat so I can smooth out the shaving cream, make a nice flat surface. Now I can set my camera right here and get my aluminum foil out. There we go. You don't have to use aluminum foil. Okay, and this is the fun part right here. I'm gonna put shaving cream on the aluminum foil, and I'm just gonna to try to cover it up and let it be about an inch thick. And um, sometimes I have to hold the can upright like this. Like if I hold it like this, it'll shoot air. So if I hold it kind of vertical, it will work better. It smells good. <clears throat> now I can take the flat edge cardboard and just try to smooth, smooth this, scrape it off and make, I need a trash can nearby. I can, I can scrape it into the trash can on the side of the trash can. And I'm just trying to make a smooth surface that I can pull a print from. I don't want to scrape this shaving cream down thin. I want it to be about a half inch or an inch thick. Let's scrape it back this way. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and get my pipette and take this watercolor paint. Put that in there. Squeeze up some green liquid watercolor. These are pretty 
There we go. These are some pretty bright colors. Put some drops around. Doesn't take much. And I'm gonna squirt, I got some extra. I'm gonna squirt it back in the jug. Be done with that one. Grabbing some blue. I'm gonna be careful with these watercolors, try not to spill them. They're expensive and they make a big mess. Put some drops of blue around. artists pick a certain color family to have a certain effect. Cool colors here can sometimes give a calm, relaxing feeling to people that work with them or look at them. I've got a little bit of violet or purple here. Put the rest back in the jar. And now I need, like, I could use an old pencil or the the handle of a paintbrush or anything to swirl. Uh, I've got I've got an old paintbrush here. I'm going to use the handle to swirl the colors around. And just put it in here and swirl around through the shaving cream. Some of those colors are working together. You can overdo it. Uh, a lot of people say very satisfying. And that's kind of fun. I will wipe that paintbrush off, rinse it off in a little bit. I'll set it down. And now I'm going to take a piece of watercolor paper. I could probably do this with uh, just regular thick paper. And I've got, the one side has the little textury bumps in it. I don't know if you can see that or not. The other side is smooth. Uh, the texture bump side holds the uh, it holds the colors better. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to smush it down on the shaving cream, and I'm going to put pressure on the back of it and kind of rub softly rub around on the paper to make sure there's no air in between the paper and the shaving cream. So I'm just kind of softly putting some pressure around on that watercolor paper. And now I'm going to peel it up and it's not gonna look good. I'm gonna peel it up. I threw the, I threw the aluminum foil in the trash. I flipped the paper over and I'm gonna go back to my cardboard plastic credit card might work just as well. I'm gonna take this and scrape that shaving cream off the paper. And it looks pretty cool. I'm happy with that. So you can, you can consider this kind of an experiment. Now the challenge is, oh, no. I rubbed it again and it started to smear my colors a little bit. I probably should have been a little more gentle. Maybe a plastic credit card would have worked better, um, but I'm really happy with the print. So um, if we're really creative, we can take this further than just getting the print. I can use this print as a background. I can cut shapes out of it and turn it into something else. I can do Sharpie work and uh, draw over it, or I could attach it to a sculpture. There's a million things I could do with this. 
and uh, hopefully you will use this print and do something really cool with it. Um, maybe some type of lettering or something. So um, I hope you give it a try. And I hope you enjoy marbling with shaving cream. And all of that stuff is fairly inexpensive if you were to buy your own and do it at home.